Okay, we're back. I'm making another quick video. They were asking me how to hook, uh, saw the, how to wire up the CTX push pull pod, and so what I did was I drew a little diagram to explain how it's done. Uh, let me go back to this diagram here real quick. Um, this right here is the classical type push pull pod with the lugs, right? And then this is the CTX upside down, right? So all I'm telling you now is on this is that um, when you flip this over, this sequence here corresponds with this. So anything you had to solder on these here, you would solder over here. So if it was the top left, it would be the top left, there would be number four. So if you had to solder something through lug number four, you would have find number four down here and you just solder there. Uh, on the right, you got the one, C1, two. So these on this plastic type push pull pod, 2C11, that corresponds with the CTX. So if you had to do, say, well, solder something to uh, on the right on the classic push pull pod, that would be second one that would correspond with C1 on the CTX push pull pod. So you that way, then uh, you would just solder to C1 down here. Okay? You would be soldering here. You would be soldering in here. But this sequence here falls in with the sequence in here. So I think you can figure that one out, right? So here's the diagram I drew. Um, this explains what I did for the left-handed. Uh, wire this uh, guitar up. Uh, Paul Reed Smith, number six pickup. One conductor, the sheeting, and one white wire for a core of pad. This pretty much explains it. How to wire it up. Yes, it works. I put it in mine. It works. Um, you turn the volume up, it goes up. It does not go down. Uh, if you wire it the other way, uh, the other way around. If you were to go up, the volume will go down because it'd be right-handed. But this is definitely wired up for lefty. As you can see, um, let's see on this diagram here. This is the typical classic push-pull pod. This is set up for lefty. Okay, so that's set up for a lefty there, push pull pod classic. Now I set it up for on the uh, CTX push pull pod. So all I did was go back to my reference. As you can see, um, on this classic one, second one on the right, C1. So I have to use C1. C1 here is the uh, color tab wire, C1. Well, C1 goes here, coil tap goes here, for C1. C1 corresponds with the classic one, C1, second one on the right. It's hard to see one. Okay, so an example here, um, the one on the right, the last one on the right. Um, here, last one on the right, it's number one. Lefty. Number one, ground. So you ground that one. Right? So on the CTX, what I did is I ran a, I ran a wire behind the other circuit board, behind there, and just ground down the casing. Uh, lug number one on the left, on the righty, you would ground the one on the right. Lefty, you ground the one on the left. Put a wire around the casing, ground, ground it down. This is it's self-explanatory. Um, one conductor on the right. Capacitor in the middle with your with your cable coming from the uh, conductor coming from your three-way switch and let's see what else and then you know I did the 50s type wiring um, goes to the center lug capacitor um, no that doesn't go to the center lug it goes to number three lug what I was going to say was not the center one gets uh, grounded to the casing the center one gets grounded to the casing and then uh, capacitor number three Number three, on the far right. If you were going to do um, a right-handed tone button, then this would go on the other number one lug. A lefty goes on number three. You still uh, ground the, the, the center. Okay, you got that? Take a shot at that. Pretty much understand that now. All right, this is what it looks like in the inside of the guitar. Let's see if you can make this out. If I hold this up a little bit, maybe you can make that out. <clears throat> See my capacitor from the center comes up and around the lug on the tone bun. 
on the right. Underneath the capacitor, you can't see it, but I grounded the center one down to the casing. Okay? Um, on the CTX, um, the one on the left, you can see the wire going through the lug, up and around the, the circuit board, and ground it down to the casing on the side. This white wire here, that's my coil tap from the pickup. So on the other one, CTX one, this is identical. Both of them are identical. Volume for the bridge and volume for the uh, neck. Okay? Wired up identical, okay? This wire here, you can see coming out of here, that's my bridge wire, my, my ground. Pickup coming in, soldered on the right. Make that out, pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. So wire it up that way, you're good enough for the lefty. Here's another photo. Make this out a little better on this one. You can see when the cable came around the uh, back of the CTS, CTS uh, push pull pod, I grounded uh, the sheeting down to the pod there. As you can see, you can see my ground wire from one pod to the back of the CTS pod in the back. I grounded it to the back, came up around, grounded it there, then came around this one and came over to the tone button on this side. And so that we all of them are grounded. Like I mentioned earlier, this is my ground from the bridge. This little green wire here is the ground from the um, three-way toggle. This red one is from the other pickup. It's going to go straight to this one, um, the center, but on this one for the other uh, volume. I got both volumes on top. Um, that's about it. So uh, let's see if I can give you a quick shot of the guitar guts okay I'm setting up my um, let's pause studio and let's see here can you make that out a little bit I'll flip that around a little bit let's see if I can get this one in case you want you need to see that a little bit now you make it out. You can see that. And that's about it. That wraps it up. And uh, as you can see, I wrapped up the, uh, the sheeting for the other pickup on the, on the tow button on this one. Just figure out your grounds and stuff. But that pretty much explains this and this explains. Wire it up and you're good for a lefty guitar. Alright? Good day.